The November 2021 real estate market stats are now available. And if you want or need to buy a home and you can actually find one, do it now before the prices continue to go up. Hi neighbors, Catherine Newman, real estate agent with Allison James, here for your current monthly Manatee and Sarasota County market update. I know I sound like a broken record. Well, to those of you that remember what a record is, but according to data from Florida Realtors and compiled by our local real estate association of Sarasota and Manatee County, rising home prices did not slow down in November. As a matter of fact, November marked the highest recorded median price in the two county area and the trend of low supply and high demand will round out this year with fewer available properties and higher prices. For Manatee County in the month of November 2021 compared to November of 2020, Due to low inventory, closed sales are down for both single family and condos. The median single family home sales price was up 28.5% from November 2020 to 450,411 and up 26.4% to 300,000 for condos. Both types of homes average six to nine days on the market with both types still having less than a month's worth of inventory. Now, most of you keep hearing that listings are selling within a few days or even a few hours of being listed and that is true. But the reason you're seeing the six to nine days to go on a contract is because many of us agents are giving the home a certain amount of days on the market to attract the most amount of offers. And it's working. Many agents like myself are dealing with multiple offers. Our RASM president, Alex Crum says, it's not surprising that our market is now priced higher than it's ever been before. New listings that come to market are being sold in a matter of hours and there are far more buyers than there are homes to sell them. I expect we'll continue to see higher prices next year. For Sarasota County, again, closed sales are down for single family and condos. The median single family home sales price is up 19.9% year over year to 419,225 and up 28.6% to 349,9 for condos. Both types average seven days on the market and both had less than a month's worth of inventory. In both counties, cash sales accounted for 41.9% of single family homes and 55.5% for condos. By the end of November for both counties and both types, single family and condos, the inventory of all active listings had decreased by 59.4% with only 1,654 listings. Now in Florida, specifically for Manatee and Sarasota County, our high season for home sales is now here, says Crump. Sarasota and Manatee counties in particular continues to be the go-to destination for buyers from around the country. Expect a very busy winter and spring. Like I said last month, if you're a buyer, keep working with your agent to research every possible buying opportunity. Don't give up. Keep your pre-approval letter updated following the instructions given by your local lender so that you're ready to make an offer at any moment. Ask your agent about creative strategies and finding homes 
making offers, and tweaking your search criteria since you'll most likely not get everything on your wish list. If you're planning to sell, now is an amazing time to make a really great profit on your home. And if you want the absolute best offers on your home, make sure it looks as great as possible so that buyers compete over it. Give it a few days on the market to attract as many offers as possible and make sure it's priced at market value. Then let the buyers decide how high they're willing to go. I'm Katherine Newman. Thanks for tuning in for this Manatee and Sarasota County real estate market update. And don't hesitate to call if I can assist you with your real estate goals.